Hi, my name's Tashar. I'm 14, and I've been to the mental facility at Metropolitan Hospital over six times. I feel like the system's broken. It's not, it's unfair to kids in this community to be placed in places like this just because their parents don't want to deal with them or they're just a little different than others. I've met kids there young, as young as eight years old, real normal, abandoned by their parents and placed in a mental facility, given medication, drugged. I, for one, have to take 50 milligrams of medication wrongfully because I'm violent and I'm not. Now I have to get reevaluated. I was diagnosed with depression, that bipolar depression to be exact, and kesophrenia and ADD. I got into the mental hospital because I had problems because I was bullied in school. I didn't have people to talk to at home. And one day I just snapped, got into a fight at school. The first thing they did was send me to a hospital. I was afraid. I had. I saw things, I saw people throwing up, people going crazy in rooms, trying to kill themselves by bashing their heads into walls. I've witnessed what happens to people like this. My time in the hospital was well spent. I spent every day going to groups, therapy, taking my medication. But it's scary at one point, because you're without your family, you're missing school, your friends. You have to sleep with total strangers in the room that you don't know what they'll do to you. Sometimes you feel like you could die and no one would notice you're gone because you're just there. Kids at school didn't know I was missing. My family was lied to being told by my mother that I was off at a friend's house or camping. At one point I felt like they didn't care about me anymore. I realized they do. I got visited most of the day, most of the time. Every day, my family would come and bring me some food or something. But and then there were people I missed, like people at school, my other half of the family. While I was there, I saw a kid. He was fairly normal. His aunt just didn't want to deal with him after the sad death of his mother and his father abandoning him as a child. I say this because he, no one visited him. There were people like my mom who, when they came and visited me, felt bad for kids like him. They gave him food, they gave him clothes, and then there were people like me who had people visiting me every day. But still, I felt alone. Since I got out of the hospital, I've been feeling different. The meds make me slower. I have a hard time making some new friends now. So I deal with what I have. A small group of friends at school that I trust very much to know my story. And now I'm trusting the community to know my story because we need to fix the system.